Hey guys, it's Cece. Today I'm gonna talk about everything that's been done to my 320i convertible. Sorry for any uh, like banging noises and stuff like that. My neighborhood's under construction, so there's a lot going on. That also means I've got a lot of creepy construction workers who like to drive by my house and stare at me. So there might be a lot of cuts in this video. <laughs> so let's get started. start at the front of the car because I just feel like that makes the most sense and we'll just go from like the front to the engine to like all the way around the car. These are my One Vision Performance intake scoops in pink and this was custom done for me. They're the only set that they've made in pink which I believe because like most of their customers are men. But hey if like some dudes want to rock some pink intake scoops totally should. Below that this is my ECS tuning aero valence, I call it. This piece right here, that's all carbon fiber. And then the middle is like a gloss black that's just painted. I like it because it's not too much. And because my car is black, it like blends well. Even though my paint is metallic and this is just non-metallic black, it still blends like super well. You can't really tell unless you're in direct sunlight. So my fog lights are actually spray painted with black Porsche paint that's diluted with clear coat. At my work, the body shop guy did this for me when I got the new bumper, and that's how he said he did it. They're not tinted, so I don't ever have to worry about it coming off or anything like that. So I just love having these painted. So under the hood, you guys saw did the intake just last week, but there's a couple other things under here that I wanna talk about, so let's go ahead and get started on that. My vehicle has the N51 engine. So it did come with the secondary air pump that used to be right here. I did install Active Auto Work race headers. So because of that, I did remove that. And my car is tuned for the headers and that air pump and this intake. Has been on a dyno. It got dyno tuned the first time that I took it to stage FP, but it has not been back on the dyno since I've done all the engine stuff. So I actually don't know what the numbers are right now. I'm thinking around like 210, 215 wheel which is like nothing. I know this car is really slow, so performance is not really number one, but it is super loud and makes crazy pops. So if you guys want an exhaust video, I can do that. But yeah, this car does not make a lot of power at all. It's very slow. What we're talking about is the window tint. So this is like my most recent thing that I've done. It's the Nebula Black from Omnique. Honestly, it's not as dark as I thought it would be, but like at times like this, like in sunset, like from certain angles, it looks really, really cool. So next up, I think we should talk about wheels. I get a lot of questions about my wheels on TikTok and stuff like that. And so I figured I would just address what they are, what their history is, and all that sort of stuff. So these wheels are a collaboration between Dynan, which is a BMW tuning company, and Fixie, which they make three-piece wheels. And they did this back in, I want to say, like, maybe 2007, 2008. I don't know exactly how old these wheels are, but they're definitely older than the car. These are the original lips and faces. I did repaint the faces last summer and repolished the center caps. And you can see right here, so it's got like dine-in part numbers and stuff on them. Forged wheels, they definitely need a little bit of love. I do plan on getting new lips sometime over the summer before the fall, so they'll look a little bit better because they've got a lot of rash and stuff like that on them. My friend who owned these before me, that's where I got them from, he actually like took the car that they were on to drift events, so that's why they're a little bit chewed up. So definitely want to replace those. I love them, they're super rare. I think they look good on the car. So let's talk about suspension. Right now the car is sitting on regular BC VR coilovers, <laughs> completely maxed out in the front and the rear. And kind of surprising, the car doesn't sit that low. They're not the extreme lows, so that's probably why. The front sits a little bit higher than the rear does. The car doesn't have any rake right now because of that, which kind of makes the fitment a little bit better. If some of you follow me on other social media, you'll know that I recently purchased Airlift. So Surprise, yeah, the car is going on air. It will be on air soon. I'm super excited, like really, really excited to get this car finally sitting where I want it to sit. Okay, so 
Really sorry that the card is so dirty. It's pollen season and I knew that even if I did wash it, it would look like this in like five minutes anyway. <laughs> but we can talk about these side skirt extensions that I have. These side skirt extensions are from Boost with Eric. Shout out to my I hate fake wheels sticker. My friend made that for me. A lot of people think it says I love fake wheels, but no. It's, it's a broken heart, okay? But anyway. So these side skirt extensions are from uh, Boost with Eric. I like how they are. They're just like a little bit added extra. All the non-M BMWs kind of have flat looking side skirts. So it just helps kind of deal with that a little bit. In addition to those, I also got the Boost with Eric rear bumper extensions. These, in my opinion, like really make the rear of the car look a lot more aggressive. If you stand back here, like it just adds like a little extra flair. That's pretty much the goal of everything <laughs> this is add more flair but yeah i like them a lot adds a lot of interest to the car really emphasizes the great lines that this car has these exhaust tips just got them at a local shop when i got my muffler resonator delete if you didn't know about active auto work their headers or cat lists so this car only has secondary cats it's the only form of silencing the exhaust so uh yeah it's pretty loud the inside of my car is something I definitely want to work on a little bit more this year. This interior trim is wrapped in this kind of matte carbon fiber vinyl. It was okay for the time being, but I am tired of it and I want to do something more interesting. You have like this carbon fiber plate around the shift knob and it looks nice. The only thing is you can really tell how fake the rest of the vinyl stuff is because the real carbon right there kind of outshines it quite a lot as well as this e-brake which is also carbon fiber <laughs> so those next to the vinyl don't really look that good now kind of boring in here i do have my drift funny decals sort of cow i want to get a different one this year just because i like the pink one but it served its purpose and now i think i want a different colored one maybe like a black one to go with the rest of the car yeah, not much going on inside the car. I do have that like crystal start button from Colorado N5X. That's the only other thing, but I'm not gonna zoom in that far because you guys can see my vinyl is peeling. <laughs> Interior of the car definitely needs a little bit of work. Okay, so this outside trim around my windows and on top of the convertible trim right here, this was all wrapped with Avery Denison gloss black vinyl. I got it done by Rob at Get A Wrap in Newbury, North Carolina. He's great. He does full vehicle wraps, all sorts of stuff like that, paint correction, coilovers, he does everything. So just like hit him up if you need anything. He's great at what he does. So yep, shout out to Rob for doing that for me. Okay, so I replaced my factory halogen bulbs for the daytime running lights with the Lux H8 Angel Eyes. They look really good. Obviously the center one is a little bit more pronounced than the outside one because of just the way that the bulb installs. I really have no complaints about them. I do like the look of the OEM headlights. I know a lot of people replace the headlights, but when all the lights are off and the car is parked, they're fully clear and in my opinion, I think they look perfect. So I'm probably never going to touch these headlights. Okay, so this rear spoiler is just a duck lip spoiler. I think I got this on eBay. I honestly can't remember. It is real carbon though, and it looks really good, especially from the side. Convertibles are really boxy, so without that spoiler, it looks like I'm driving a mail truck. That was one of the first things I did to the car when I started modifying it. Shout out, so scared. Yeah, so that is pretty much all the stuff that's done to my car. I'm gonna go ahead and just make a list and put it down below. I'll link anything that I can find the link for so that you guys can look through that if anything looked interesting to you and you wanna get it for your car. I do have plans for this car. I have everything written out for what I wanna do this year, get it ready for show season and stuff like that. I do plan on making a video kind of going more into detail about that. Also going into detail about Stockton's car and what he wants to do with it for this year too. So I'm going to make that video with him when we can find time to talk about that. 
but yeah thank you guys for watching really hope that i get to film some cool stuff for you guys soon i enjoy doing this so yeah bye